Hey, hey everyone, it's a year in review. We've got some highlights to show you which videos you liked best and what the highlights look like. Take a look. All right, we got fast, fast speed going on because that's how we roll. This is our team, you know most of us. We've got Chris and Jake and myself. My name is Michelle, I'm gonna be your MC for the day. Chris is the co-owner of the business. The business is called Glass Academy. We're located in Dearborn, Michigan. This is me, woohoo. And I don't blow on the pipe very often, but I do sometimes, especially when we're prototyping new works. Our son, Jacob, you're gonna see him. He's taken over the business. We're passing on some things. He's learning lots. You're gonna see us dipping out, in and out throughout the year on our Gathering Point show but you're gonna see Oliver, you're gonna see Matt, you're gonna see some of the other players in the studio and get ready because it's a load of fun. We change up things every week and this year we're gonna have some visiting artists. At the start of the shows, we try to do something a little wacky. Chris has a really hard time with doing something that's like out of control or just fun. Uh, amazingly enough, he wants to make everything turn into the super piece of something. So this was kind of a favorite. On YouTube, we got a lot of hits on our channel for this piece, and I'm not quite sure why, but maybe people want to see it again, so here it is. What we did was actually blow the glass into a metal cage. It's aluminum. We thought it would melt off and just leave a pattern, but actually the cage is still kind of on there. No intention to take it off. In fact, I didn't even think it would get this far as far as the finished piece. I thought Chris would just blow into it and then we get started with the show. But as I mentioned, he's got to like finish everything. He wants to see it all the way through. So he was opening up. It's not a functional piece. I mean, maybe we could sell it. Maybe it could have flowers in it or something. Sure. It's in the studio. When you come to the Glass Academy, you can check it out. More than welcome to see it. Gathering point, any of the pieces that we make on the show, if we don't sell them, we kind of keep them in the studio. So again, we're located in Dearborn, Michigan. The home of Henry Ford is an easy way to remember it. And when you come to the studio, you'll see these pieces. This right here is what we're gonna do to sign our piece. Because we use a small dollop of glass and then a bronze stamp, it's kind of how we put our signature on the piece. So again, the couple videos that you're gonna see in this are some of our favorite products, some of the things you know and love. Now the gathering point for 2024, we have some really cool stuff lined up. Um, you'll see our shirt and the signage says the gathering point. If you go on YouTube and you type in glass blowing, you'll find us. We have the hashtag or the symbol at glass blowing there. So in 2024, we have some really cool shows lined up. Uh, this is our studio. You see Chris walking across the studio to go into the annular oven. It's on the other side of the shop. Our shop is about 12,000 square feet. Add on the offices, it's about 14,000. So Matt's working with Jake on this one. This was a big bowl and there's many different color techniques. And those are some of the things we're gonna explore in 2024. We do a live show every Tuesday night for about two hours. So it gives us ample time to go on there and try a different color technique or something that matches one of our products. Now, you will also notice it's on fast speed. We're doing that so that you can see the completed product a little quicker than if we were just going regular speed. So this is the gathering point on steroids. We are a small private studio. Uh, we are not funded by grants or um, ticket sales. We sell our product online and that's how we make our money. So if you like what you're seeing, you can go to glassacademy.com. You'll see some of the different products we make. This particular piece is a bowl and this was for a customer. So in the tray are all the various colors we have. This is the Michigan Waters theme. This year we're gonna be building out a beverage counter in the studio and what that means for us is it's gonna serve coffees and smoothies and beverages. Um, it will also, on our special event nights, you'll be able to purchase some alcohol. 
because it does have a liquor license. So we're going to be working with some alcohol companies in Metro Detroit and some other, um, like there's a tea company that we're working with that does tea infused cocktails and mocktails. We're going to try a couple different things this year and we will talk about those on the show. So an example of that would be one of the tea infused cocktails, a tall thin glass is the best way it's served. So you catch that aroma. So when we're making our beverage glasses, we're gonna tell you why, and then if you follow us on social, we'll actually include the recipe. Now, there are the trays of color reheating there in the furnace. Again, this is fast feed, so it makes it a little easier for you guys to understand uh, the process without waiting too long. Now, Matt's the assistant. He's actually blowing down the pipe while Jake is shaping this. That allows Jake the time and the energy to really focus on this giant bubble versus blowing through the pipe himself. The pipes are held horizontal to keep the piece on center. And using the jacks, he's able to squeeze the top of this. This is going to be a big, we call it a flutter bowl. It's a big spun out bowl and it's kind of cool because just like you spin out pizza dough, when the glass gets really hot, you'll be able to flare and spin this out. It's pretty cool. You see our other social media channels. We do a lot of shorts that are interesting taken from the show. So if you enjoy what you're seeing here, there's little mini clips that are on our social channels. Uh, things like this scene right here where it's a hot blob of glass and just for a moment it gets added to the piece and you get to see it in one mini application. If you watch the show on Tuesday night, it will make more sense what's happening in the big picture, but social's really nice for these short clips. Now that was the base or the bottom of the bowl. So the next step is to break it off the top. Now it looks kind of green, doesn't it? It's actually blue in color. Uh, blue when it gets hot and has yellow tones to it will be green in color, so blue and green, or yellow and blue make green. As the bottom towards the foot cools off, you're starting to see it looks like a really nice earthy color with greens and blues in it, but the finished piece will be blue on the outside, white on the inside. Now Matt's shielding Jake's hand with this wooden paddle because his arm is getting really hot from opening up that piece. And at this point you can see that beautiful white color. We have doors on our furnace which allow us to stretch open the opening, allowing more heat, bigger items to get in. At this time I definitely wanna say it's not about the equipment, it's about what you do with the hot molten glass. We have various tools and techniques that we can use to shape the glass, from wooden paddles to graphite tools to metal tools. And gravity is one of our greatest tools, so you can see by holding that bowl down how beautifully it flutes out. Again, our signature stamp. This is a small branding that goes on the side of the piece, and the bowl is complete. big fancy gloves that Matt has on will hold the bowl so that he can put it inside that oven and they don't have much time to get it in there. Now the shows that we do, they have themes. This particular one was something about a bowl and there was a little competition to do some sort of bowl. So Chris is going to be making another piece here and this is the Van Gogh technique. What he's doing is layered colored on top and he's actually using tweezers to kind of spin that color together. I'm just gonna make a couple layers to this piece. Dipping into the furnace, this is where all the glass is held. He's getting his second layer on top. And this is a pipe cooler. It allows us to cool off the pipe so when we're using it, we get a better leverage in the way our hands can get close to the pipe. So he wants to make um, kind of designs on the glass, but this is more about pushing the glass so when it spins out, it's not even. He wants it to be really rough and kind of very organic. So 
this kind of reminds me of the finished piece look like when you walk down a stream that's got flowing water from the mountain and you're stepping over the rocks. It has this really nice, bumpy, colorful texture, but it, it has this glassy appearance as well to it. So it's a really neat finished piece. Now in 2024, what we're looking to do is get more finished product together with our videos. The live show, we can't show you the end because they have to cool overnight. We don't even know. But during the week and the month, we're gonna to put together finished clips. So when you go on YouTube, you'll see something like this. Edit it down so it's a little quicker and then we'll have the finished piece at the end as well. Now that bright orange color tells us it's nice and hot. We do want it a little cooler so they're gonna be uh, cooling it in just a few minutes and then adding the punty to it. Now you'll see me in the background sometimes I squeal in for the good shot for a short. Um, I give you a different perspective standing right over the bench. It's a really cool angle. Usually in glass studios not many people let you inside uh, and when you do see a glass studio it's usually from a distance. So the cool thing about these videos that we're doing is you can get up close and personal. Now much like a pizza dough can spin out, if you get the glass nice and hot, when he comes out he'll spin it. And because it has all these different sized glass bits added to the side, it will flare out in an unusual way. Super cool to see it fast. It's going to have bumps and lumps in it. This is all intentional. Um, I think it's really funny to watch Chris make a piece like this because this is not at all how he ever works. But it was a challenge that someone put him onto and said, I want to see this style piece. And Chris said, I can do it. So like the prior pieces, it's going to go into the cooling oven. Matt's preheating his gloves there so he can hold it and lift it up. This is a really nice turquoise blue. As it's cooling, you can see it a little bit. I'm using the torch here on the bottom to put the brand on it and smooth any rough edges. Now, here's one of my favorite things. This is our signature pumpkin, uh, one of our signature styles. This is called the Van Gogh. When I had worked in a production facility in the early 90s, this was a product that I developed. And I called it Van Gogh because it has these great swirls in it. So Jake is blowing through the pipe. He's got whites and golden colors on there. And he's going to be making a glass pumpkin, which are all the rage if you've seen them. After he shapes it a little bit, he has to go into a mold to give it the sides and the body that we know pumpkins have. And that's what happens right there. Pumpkins are fun because once you blow them up, they're pretty much done. There's not a lot of crafting. The cool thing about pumpkins is to really play with the colors of them. Now we do all kinds of pumpkins. We do gourds, we do squashers, which are ones that kind of grow sideways, and we do the classic round. So this is a classic round. Again, sped up. We don't work this fast, but here is the handle. The coolest part of making. Personally, I love it when the curls drip down the side of the pumpkin, because when you go to the pumpkin patch, that's exactly what happens. You get all kinds of stems on there. Same thing, it has to go into the cooling oven. You can see the unique color patterns on there. It looks fantastic. And then we roll into holiday. This is the, the fourth quarter is our busiest time of year. We go from pumpkins to holiday. Every year we develop a new snowman. And lots of glass blowing, being in the studio, ideas just come to you. And as you learn these ideas, you incorporate them so that people can enjoy them as well. So this is a two bump snowman. We give it some eyes and three buttons down the front. And that's what this process is right here. Small bit of glass attached to the body of the glass with a foot. In between, it has to be heated. Now comes another 
decorative bits like the carrot and the like what you're seeing, definitely subscribe to our channel. It's super fun. We do all kinds of interesting things throughout the year. Some are seasonal based, like this holiday one. And here is the summer. We do this really cool gnome, and that was a viral video on TikTok. And if you've seen the gnome video, it kind of looks like this hat was just added. That is a great shot of how we make the fuzz for this woman's hat. last thing we do, the snowman we want our products to be very stable. So we've developed a process over the years that makes it look like it's sitting on a patty of snow. Hot molten glass with some white mixed in and then we're going to take off the snowman and set it right on top of that. The two will merge together. We're able to put our signature on the side of the piece there. And we tie these cloth scarves on our snowmen. That way you can change them out. It adds a little um, three-dimensional quality to it that's not 100% glass. Super cute. And same thing, it has to go into the cooling oven. Now, if you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel because we've got some really cool things coming in 2024. Look forward to seeing more of you. Thanks for watching.